Dear friends of the Iranian people and resistance across the world, on Christmas Eve and the birth of Jesus Christ, the messenger of mercy, peace, and freedom, I wish you a happy new year. I wish that the new year would bring peace, solidarity, and happiness for the people around the world. May freedom and democracy triumph in my homeland, Iran, and other nations in the region. Christmas brings with it the spirit of peace, brotherhood, and tolerance when people of all region come together to replace uh, revenge with love and tolerance. Christmas is an inspiration for liberation of mankind because on that day Christ was born. The Holy Quran said, he told everyone, wherever I may be, I shall bring blessing and dignity to our people. He taught them the tradition of sacrifice and said, there is no love greater than the one we pay for with our lives for others. Dear friends, in this Christmas season, Unlike the bright and uh, cheerful spirit of Christmas, the religious dictatorship ruling Iran has regrettably stepped up the arrest and harassment of Iranian Christians. A number of them have been tried on charges like acting against national security. Church leaders have either been imprisoned or subjected to different restrictions and controls. The intelligence ministry has put a number of uh, priests under pressure to either abandon their religious activities or leave the country in three months. The ruling mullahs have not only denied the followers of different religions the freedom to do their religious traditions, but have even deprived them of the individual and social rights and a normal living. Therefore, a significant number of all religious minorities in Iran have been forced to flee Iran. The position and the conduct of the ruling mullahs are contrary both to Iran's culture, history, and traditions as well as to the teachings of the true Islam. We recognize Jesus as our own prophet. As the Holy Quran has said, there is no difference between prophets. I have every hope that in tomorrow's democratic and non-nuclear Iran, based on separation of religion and state, all Iranians with whatever religion or belief would live together in freedom, peace, and tolerance, and without any discrimination before the law. Today, in my homeland, the whole nation is suffering under a brutal regime, but they are determined to bring about freedom and democracy. The pioneers of the Iranian people's resistance for peace and freedom are those currently in Camp Liberty. In Iraq, they are paying the price for freedom of the Iranian people with their lives. They said no to surrender to the religious dictatorship. Therefore, the mullahs in Iran and their puppet government in Iraq are resorting to all means to eliminate them. In September, at the behest of the mullahs regime, the Iraqi forces attacked them massacring 52 and taking seven hostages, all of whom were protected persons, and the US government and UN had pledged to protect them. On the occasion of birth of Jesus Christ, with the seasons peace and joy fulfilling every home, let us pray for those who are suffering in the region especially in Syria and in Iraq.
I appeal to all freedom lovers across the world to support the Iranian people and resistance. I also appeal to you to take action for the freedom of the seven hostages and all those suffering in prisons in Iran. I wish you all again a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year.